Hey, you're back. And you're crying. Hey, hey, shh, come here. Hey, shh, it's all right, I'm here. Shh, it's all right, honey. Um, here, uh, let's sit you down. Here, hold my hand. I know you can walk on your own, but you look unsteady. So, for now, let me just gently guide you. There. All right, let's sit you down. Okay. Um, here's a blanket for you. There. Hey, look at me. Oh my god, you poor thing. Here, come here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Judging by how hard you're crying, I'm guessing... Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's okay to cry. Whatever you're feeling right now is valid and totally normal. Whether you want to punch a wall or cry or lock yourself in your room and never come out, it's fine. Hey, I'm right here. Shh. Just let me hug you, okay? Let me hold you. Give you a reality to hold on to. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. I know how important they were to you. It's okay. You can cry, you can scream, you don't have to say a word. Your feelings are okay. Just let it happen. Hey, you want to tell me about it? Talk me through it? Alright, I'm all ears. Just go for it when you're ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. I know, it seems... It seems hard to bear, and I know it can feel like the world around you is crashing and crumbling apart. But, and I know this is going to sound cliche, and maybe it is, but... I truly believe this. It gets better. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to feel angry or, or guilty. It's completely normal. You are human. These are things we feel when we lose someone close to us. You aren't strange or weird, and these things you're feeling are natural. You're okay. Yes, you're okay. I'm here, and I'm not going anywhere. The one thing I don't want you feeling is responsible. You aren't. This is not in any way, shape, or form your fault. You are so helpful and so brave. I saw you. You smiled and acted like nothing was wrong. Even though I could see it in your eyes, you knew it was grim. You still went on. And I bet that meant the world to them. It would to me. You gave them a lot to hold on to what they had left. A sweet smile to remember, even in the hospital. And you are wonderful for it. Can I tell you a story? Okay. Here, uh, rest your head in my lap. There you go. So, my first experience with this sort of thing happened when I was, like, nine. I had just moved to California, and I didn't know anyone. Like, literally, zero people. Well, at the time, we lived with my grandma, and she had a friend of hers come over to welcome us to town and stuff. Really sweet older lady. Sharp, too. Girl was a fireball for her age. Anyways, um, she was my first real friend here. Well, fast forward a year, and we find out she had brain cancer. She fought it hard and beat it. Then... It came back, and this time it spread to her lungs. My mom already talked to me about how this time she most likely wouldn't make it. I didn't really understand. After all, I was only nine. Well, about a month before she passed away, my mom and my grandma and me, we all went to go see her. 
took a lot of convincing for me to go, but I went. She had to breathe through one of those nose oxygen things, and her face was pale, yet even though she didn't look like anything like the woman I'd remembered and come to know, I smiled and I visited. We laughed and just enjoyed each other's company for almost three hours. The day I learned she died was one of the hardest days of my life. I was in much the same state you are now. But my mom told me something that has stuck with me to this day. Even though they're gone, we have to remember that they aren't suffering anymore. And we've made a difference in their life. And you did. You made a huge difference to them. You were put in their life for a purpose, just as they were put in yours. The point I'm trying to make is, yes, it's going to hurt. But you have an endless support system around you, starting with me. I'm going to help you through this. They aren't in pain anymore. Your smile lifted their burden for even a moment. You made a difference, and I can tell you now that that is the absolute truth. Seeing the smile of a loved one would lift anyone's spirits, no matter the hell situation. You doing okay, sweetie? Come here. <laughs> yeah, you can fall asleep if you want. I don't mind. It's late and you should get some rest anyways. Me? Yeah, I'll go to sleep eventually. You first, though. I'm right here. Hold me as tightly as you need. Good night, sweet dreams. You will be okay.